Since 1976, the Calvert Trust has enabled people with physical, learning and sensory disabilities to participate in challenging outdoor activities. Some disabilities are acquired through accidents, whilst others have lived with their disability all their lives. Our specialist facilities combine natural and purpose-built environments where individuals of all ages can acquire a real sense of achievement, develop new life skills, thus promoting greater levels of independence, confidence and success in their daily lives. I was a little bit nervous, apprehensive about what I was going to be able to do, what I was going to be able to do as well. I didn't, didn't think I'd be able to do very much. If you feel at the time you're unique in your situation, you don't feel like anyone else is going through what you've gone through. I want to push the boundaries while I'm here at the Calvert Trust. It gives a lot of people an opportunity to um, try things they wouldn't otherwise have attempted. And uh, it can broaden people's horizons quite a deal. A lot of the people who come here they don't have much adventure in their daily life, uh, but what they get here, uh, they're doing things that they don't normally experience. I think that's very important to people. And the carers are, are very important. They understand people that they're with very well. They can each help the other, really. And that's the ethos of the Calvert Trust. Is it's about a mutual kind of understanding and helping each other. It's not actually the sport that's the most important thing is people feeling they've got a measure of success. People often perceive they can't do certain things when actually, they, with a bit of thinking about it, possibly a little bit of adaption, they can do it. It's a very, very positive place to be, definitely. There's few jobs where every day you come to work and you see someone have a life-changing experience. People do things here that challenge them, you know, really make them use a bit of bravery that they maybe normally don't use. And I think when they go back home, they might just, well, they can tackle whatever particular challenge is bothering them at home. So I think uh, it does make a difference, yeah. Before coming here, I, I was scared of heights. Now, yesterday, I, I was lowered down a um, 50-foot chasm, which was extremely exhilarating. The view was just gorgeous, and I smiled all the way down. I really, really enjoyed that bit, and the height didn't matter. I'd sailed a couple of times before I'd gone along to sailing clubs which were supposed to be set up for disabled people but they, they couldn't really get the stuff that would work for me. I don't think they'd met somebody quite so severely disabled. So when I came here I really had low expectations of um, what I was going to be able to do uh, but the first day they managed to kick me out with a tube in my hand to put the, the mainsail through so that was just fantastic to get out on the lake independently. It's totally given me my confidence back and it's got my life back on track and um, a go factor just to go back into my life again. Yeah. I never dreamed I would achieve what I've done. Never. <laughs> It'll change your life. The whole world is opened up now. No end of the Possibilities. It's all thanks to the Cavern Trust.